Let's cut to the chase. Whole Live English second generation auditions are as out as the sun on a sunny day. Cool! For those who don't know, Whole Live is a professional rabbit hole of VTubers primarily from Japan, originally from Japan, but have since started branches in Indonesia and America. They are VTubers, of course, virtual YouTubers who do everything that YouTubers do, except they use 2D and 3D uh, avatars. I know, we're in the future, I know, I know. I knew we were in the future as soon as they made those like digital picture frames that do the slideshows. That's magic! Who thought of that? That's like Back to the Future. Second round auditions for VTuber group Whole Alive English begins. Apply from today, Friday, February 12th, 11.59 a.m. Japan Standard Time. Oh my god, I almost messed that up again. The deadline is March 26th, so don't rush. You've got plenty of time. We're going to look at the application and break down what it is that's going on because we want people to know about it. Last time I saw a tweet for the Homo Stars audition, they wrapped up in May and I found out about it in like October and November. So hopefully word gets out to people that this is a thing. That's cool, right? It's cool. That's very cool. So we're going to do that today. We're going to look at the application. Prerequisites must be an English speaker. Ability to speak Japanese is a plus. Okay. I use this so I don't get carpal tunnel on my wrist. Isn't that cool? I was on the JET program for two years. And when I did the application process, they said pretty much the same thing. Japanese is a plus. In their words, they said it's bonus points. You know, if you can't speak Japanese, it's not the end of the world. They do take applicants that don't speak Japanese. Don't speak a lick of it but that are interested and willing to learn. So you don't have to speak Japanese, but it can help, it can help. When I did the JET program thing, they asked me four questions in Japanese, and I, at the time, I brokenly answered two of them. And I mean, you know, may, may or may not have told them that I'm from Massachusetts when they asked me how old I was. That's okay, I don't remember, but we all make mistakes, and I'm sure that was one of them. Um, don't worry about it. They said you did a good job, and I'm sure you have too. If you don't speak Japanese, it's not the end of the world. If you're aware, there are other holovivers that aren't very good at Japanese, or aren't very good at English, or aren't very good at Indonesian. But don't worry about it. If anything, it can be very interesting if you, if you don't speak it, because that can lead to Duolingo streams. I don't know. Gender irrelevant. Yay! Okay, you can, on the application, you'll see, it says you can be, okay, let's just get to that, actually. Female, male, prefer not to say, or other. You've got options there, and I really like that they did that. That's cool. you got these. You can read these when you have time, 18 years or older, okay. Go around the sun 18 times. Not a big deal, not a big deal. Put your email address here. Um, I feel like, you know, use your own discretion when it comes to this one. Uh, maybe don't use your childhood email for it. Maybe use something a little bit more professional sounding. Um, but that's your call. That's your call. Probably go with something a bit more professional sounding. Self-introduction video. Please record a roughly five minute long in character self-introduction, either with video or audio only, and upload it unlisted to YouTube. Big thing, unlisted. If your original character has a profile or backstory, please provide it in the video description. We, you know, see all that stuff. Your character model is not required and will not be transferred to whole live English. Don't worry about that. I think it's so funny. It's like self-introduction video, your answer. Sure thing pal. So basically that's where you put the URL for your video. Again, don't submit this right away. You know, take some time to work on your character. Um, and I've heard that you've had, you have to propose a character idea. Um, I've heard that from other Hololivers when they mentioned their, you know, their interviewing process. Um, keep in mind, when you do it, you might have a very elaborate idea for your character and that's cool. Just remember, don't overthink it. Be natural. That's the best thing that you can do. Plus, if 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 your character, if your character is isn't very natural for you, and you get the job, you're in for a load of stress. Be natural. Your own your own personality is going to shine through in its in its strong points. So, take it easy. Don't try to be something that you're not. Focus on your strong points. 
be natural, be comfortable, and you're good. It's going to translate. Your performance is going to translate much better. I can't stop using my hands. Birthday, you know the deal. Location of residence, Albania. Do you own a YouTube channel? I think that's really cool. You, again, yes or no. And it says, it says, you know, put the URL for it too. Your YouTube channel, it, depending on how you've done it, is a way to showcase what, how, you know, your ability as either a streamer or a YouTuber in general. It's basically your portfolio for a job like this. Same thing for Twitch. They got, they ask for your Twitch channel and your Twitch URL too. You can give that. They do it with your Twitter too, actually. If you feel like there's something on your YouTube or your Twitch that you don't want potential employers to say, you know the deal, make it private, make it unlisted so you and your homies can see it, but nobody else. Unless you're dude perfect, get rid of the red solo cups is what they would say, right? In all the career development classes. Please tell us your experience as a live streamer. Wonderful. This is what they want to know. In addition, please include the maximum number of viewers you've had at any one time. I will wait. I'll tell you right now. 21. And that was for a Crash Bandicoot stream. It was very cool. People like the classics. Please tell us your experience in video creation. In addition, please include the names of the software you use. It's not too bad. It's not too hard. How long have you been doing gaming commentary? So... I don't necessarily interpret this as being you, you having to stream gaming com commentary. You can also be making videos, like regularly, regularly occurring videos on gaming commentary if you have like, you know, a series of episodes that focuses specifically on that. That's fine. In my case, I only have very casual gaming commentary from having done streams in the past, and so that's probably what I would say. Anything at all is, is good. If you don't have that, I really feel like this isn't the end of the world. As I believe, I believe Callie is not much of a gamer, I think. I don't think she's done a lot of gaming. I don't know. I think she got in more for her music ability. I could be wrong. Across the whole Ivers, I know, and the whole stars, I know that there's like a balance of their different abilities of like art music and gaming it's not it's not like they're all at like 70 80 90 you know it's going to be different you know for each and each and every other gouda has the voice of an angel and amelia has the voice of something amazing how do you gauge your english language ability this is probably going to have to be native or at least fluent if, i i think that there's a lot of merit for fluent if it's moderate, I mean, you might have a struggle. You might struggle a bit because it is whole alive English. Uh, but I think native and fluent should be okay. Um, if your conversation are a basic, see, they put those on there, and they even put none. So I'm wondering what they do with those applications because it's whole alive English. I really don't understand. Um, but you can, probably can't go wrong with native and fluent. I know they would probably prefer native. But... I, you know, Kiara, I think her native language is German, and so she would have put fluent, I think. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Native and fluent should be okay. Perhaps moderate is okay, too. Anything below that I would be really questionable for this kind of application. How do you gauge your Japanese language ability? Native, fluent, moderate, conversational, basic, none. You know the, you know the deal. Don't try to be something more than you aren't here because they might test you if you put native and you can't even pass n5 like me then you are going to be embarrassed and that's not fun you know i probably can pass n5 now if i studied a little bit but oh my god i hate tests please tell us if you have any other skills or talents that would help you as a streamer music drawing voice acting audience interaction etc hey Anything and anything at all that you can think of that is creative and that's it's something that you're passionate about could be really cool. You know, some of them do cooking streams too. And if you got cooking and like you like making pastries, do that. Like put that on there. I think that that's really fun and exciting. Um, if you don't feel like you do anything creative, you know, this is an opportunity to try to find new hobbies. Like try doing some music, try doing some drawing, try doing voice acting, try cooking, audience, well, audience interaction, you know. But try to do something. If, if this is a job that you're interested in, you know, these are the parameters of things that they're looking for. Get some water, everybody hydrate. If you do creative stuff like this, sell it. Like, that's one of the biggest pieces of advice that I've learned for resume building, which is not, like, it's not about what you did, like, what your responsibilities are. It's about what you changed or what what, what you did that was very unique. Um, so if you want to say you performed at so-and-so or you've done venues like that, 
that's really cool. Like that that says a lot more than just I am a singer songwriter in my closet, you know. Or you can say that you draw commissions for like such and such clients, or you've done like I don't know like fifty or a hundred different clients, or you've worked with this this person and they're very big. Um, anything like really sell it that shows that you are very passionate that you do this because you are curious about it it excites you and that's going to sell more than just i also happen to make music like woo! sell yourself sell what is the frequency of live streaming you can provide be, again be honest if you can do certain days of the weeks and times and you know hours and stuff or if you can do saturdays and sundays that's going to be you know, entirely dependent on who you are, what your schedule is like, to be honest there. Who is your favorite VTuber and why? Me, oh mama! I think that this is an opportunity to showcase what you're looking for in a streamer and what you want to be able to portray as well. Like maybe it's someone that you look up to, like, like a role model. Like it's Subaru because, you know, they do this, this, this so well and I strive to do that too. So finding a role model and explaining it as such could be very helpful. I feel like there's a lot of wiggle room in this one, so don't worry about it too much. Um, but I feel like if you can bring it back into why you want to be a streamer, you know, because it's your favorite VTuber, they're probably an influence for you. Why are they an influence for you? What do you want to do that, that you've learned from them? Something to think about. Please tell us why you want to join Whole Alive English. Why do you want to apply to Whole Alive English? Why do you want to apply to Boeing? Why do you want to apply to, you know, GameStop? You know, why specifically this company? It's good to see what they do as a company and explain how that's going to help you to grow in your own career. Um, try to bring that back to what your overall picture is and outlook for the future, what your plan is. Um, and if it aligns with them, great. If you can show exactly what, maybe what they're missing or what they need a bit more of and you can provide that, excellent. This is always a tricky question. Explain how your services benefit Whole Alive English really well. Explain how you guys together is better for their growth, it's better for your growth, and why it's, what, why picking you would help them better than others. Like, what other unique things can you offer that maybe Whole Life English doesn't already do? They want to know about those things. In detail, what kind of activities and goals do you want to fulfill as a VTuber? Again, align it with your prospect for the future, what you want to do as a career or a job. You know, I don't know what you're doing. Align it with what your goals are for the future. Do you not have any goals? Now's a great time to go get some. Heck yeah! Standing ovation, I'm wearing shorts. Do you have a management contract with another company? They're gonna wanna know that for sure because it's a conflict of interest. Are you applying for an audition for another company? Okay, so I've heard mixed things on this one. Please let me know in the comments what you think if you have an opinion on this one. Some companies like to know that you're applying exclusively to them. Other companies will see you sending applications to other, maybe competitor companies, as a sign that you are genuinely motivated to find work in that field. And it's not just them. Some people will look at that as like you are out there to get employed. And that's a really cool thing. Grain of salt here, you know, use your best judgment. Let me know in the comments if you've got, you know, other input for this one, because it's a bit of a tricky question. Further inquiries, you know, if you have any questions, requests, concerns, allergies, let them know. Maybe not the allergies, but maybe, you know, everything else. Um, again, I feel like this is the, like the most personal, like, can't really go wrong with a thing. Just don't ask for their number. I have read an ex... Don't disappoint me now. Don't disappoint me. Don't do it. That privacy policy is right here. You can check it out on your own dime. And would you know, it's in Japanese, so good luck. Oh, it's in English. All right, good, good, good. I wanted to give some tips, because I'm 27, and I hope I find something at all in my life. But not just that. I also remember what it was like when I first wanted to apply for the JET program. I had missed the deadline by 11 days. And it was great, though, because I had a whole year 
to like practice and train and study and become the perfect applicant. So I appreciated that. I applied the next year and I got in. The biggest thing is I want people to know like, hey, this is happening now. Do it. You know, here it is. I don't want people, like if this is something that people want to do, I don't want them to miss this opportunity. Ow. So do what you can. You have until March 26, I think, uh, for the deadline. Where is it over here? Yeah, you got until March 26. And then maybe you can be a whole liver or a whole star, just like, you know, Kiara and Cowie and Amelia and Ina and Artemis. Don't know Gouda. I hope you have a great day. You know, you look absolutely stunning. I hope you, you know, I hope you feel as good inside as you do outside. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe for more content like this. I don't normally do commentary ones like this, but every now and again I will try. Um, I know I did a couple in Japan commenting on the coronavirus situation. We do a lot of streams here. Sunday to Thursday, 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If that's your thing, come by. If that's not your thing, that's okay. We do other things. <laughs> Feel free to do that. Hit us up. Um, we hope to see you again soon. And if you're applying to whole life, best of luck. I believe in you. I personally, look at this heart. I believe in you. You don't think I do? I'm a stranger. I'm a stranger. And I already believe in you. Does it doesn't look like I'm lying. Best of luck. And remember, ah. Whole life, whole stars, you got to remember, they're very serious. They're, they're not very funny. They're not about that. They're very, very serious. <laughs>